हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू कैट प्रैक्टिस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ बेसिक थ्री डी मॉडल इन ऑटोडेस्क इन एंटर शीट मेटल एंड लर्न इट्स बेसिक कमांड्स लाइक काउंटर फ्लेंस हेम कमांड एक्सक्रूट कट नॉर्मल शीट मेटल कट अनफोल्ड कमांड रीफोल्ड एंड होल कमांड एंड एट लास्ट वी विल डू द फ्लैट पैटर्न ऑफ दिस प्रोफाइल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विथ टू डेज ट्यूटोरियल go to new we will take a standard part in sheet metal and create now go to 2d sketch and select the xy plane now go to line command here make a line of dimension 40 mm and here vertical height of 80 mm and the horizontal height of or distance of This will be also 80 mm. Enter. Escape. Change this dimension to 40 mm. Okay. Now you can see this is not constrained. So go to coincident constraint. Select this point and select this point. Okay. <coughs> Now finish sketch. Now for sheet. go to counter flange it will automatically select the open sketch counter flange is always used for open sketches now you can see the sheet is going out outside this sketch profile we want it inside so go to flip side now it is inside now go to this view now you can see it is coming Uh, 25 mm this side, but we want its symmetric flange. So from here, select mid plane and give this dis distance of 60 mm. And okay. Now we want to change the thickness of the sheet. So go to sheet metal defaults. From here, the by default thickness is 0.5 mm. Uncheck this, and here write 2 mm, and apply. Okay, exit. Now we will use the ham command. So from here, select ham. Here, the gap will be ten mm, and the length of ham will be seventeen mm. Now go to this and select this profile. Okay. Now, as you can see, we are, if we select the upper profile or the upper edge the ham will bend upside we want this bend down so we will unselect this or cancel this go to ham command now go to ham command rotate this here we will give gap of 10 mm and the length of 17 mm go to select and select this bottom edge now you can see the ham profile and apply similarly we will make ham profile over here select this upper edge here also gap of 10 and length of 17 mm and apply okay exit this length is the length from this side <coughs> now select this face go to create sketch rotate the view okay now go to rectangle command and select two point rectangle and make a cut profile go to dimension from this edge till here this will be 40 mm and the width here will be of 25 mm okay now go to horizontal constraint and we will select the center point here we are finding center point this point and center point of this rectangle now it is constrained go to dimension take the total length as 80 mm okay now finish sketch 
and from here go to 3D model and select the extrude command. Drag it outside. Now you can see it's extruding and making the joint profile. But we want to cut this, so go to cut. Here select symmetric and OK. Now you can see the cut. <coughs> now we have made this. Now select this top face. Go to create sketch. Here we will make this circular profile. <coughs> so go to circle command. Here make circle of dia 12 mm and this circle also of dia 12 mm. Okay. Now go to dimension. From this side, the center will be at 15 mm and the center to center distance escape again go to dimension the center to center distance of 30 mm okay now from this bend the center distance here will be of 22 mm okay now you can see it is not constrained properly go to vertical constraint and select this point and this point they are vertically aligned now they are constrained finish sketch and from here go to sheet metal and select cut select both the circles it will cut up to thickness of 2mm and ok ok now we will make this next cut profile this profile <coughs> so select this face go to create sketch <coughs> and from here select the two point rectangle make rectangle profile here of 10 tab 10 m ok now go to horizontal constraint, select this center point and select center point of this, it is horizontally aligned, escape. Now you can see it is dragging outside or inside. So go to coincident, select this point and here select this edge. Now it will be aligned to this edge. Now we want to ma mirror this. So go to line command and here select construction geometry. Select this center point and make a reference line over here and escape. Now select this construction line or the reference line and make it a construction geometry. Okay. Similarly, select this reference line make it construction geometry only the solid line will be of the profile which we have made now go to mirror command and select this rectangle profile go to line the mirror line and select the center line which we have made. apply and done ok now go to sheet metal and select cut command rotate this <coughs> Select both the rectangles and OK. Now we want this cut profile over here. This cut we will make. For this, select the first we will unfold this whole profile. So from here go to unfold. Select this face as the stationary reference and here click add all bends and ok now you can see the flat pattern go to top view rotate and select this face now and go to create sketch now from here select the two point center rectangle select this midpoint and here make rectangle of 10 tab 10 mm ok and go to finish sketch here also we will take the cut command 
we will cut this profile up to thickness and okay okay now we will go back to the folded part so from here select refold the stationary part will be this or the face will be this and here we will add all bends and okay go to home now you can see the cut profile over here now we are left with this whole profile for this whole profile select this face go to create sketch and from here go to point command and place a point over here now go to dimension and the dimension from this edge will be at 15 mm go to horizontal constraint this point and this point will be aligned horizontally and finish sketch now we will use the whole command and here we will take the countersink it will be a simple hole through all cut and here we will give the dimension the countersink dia will be 15 mm and the bottom dia of 12 mm I have already made it so it is saved by the software. You have to enter all the dimensions and OK. Now you can see the countersign. Now from here we will define the color. We will take opal. OK. It is like grey color. OK. Now for uh, flat pattern just click here create flat pattern so it will provide you the flat pattern of this profile now go back to folded part so this was a basic tutorial to how to make a basic 3d model in autodesk in under sheet metal i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you